Hey YouTube, this is Flooded Fairy 36 and today we're gonna to have a Lego Harry Potter review. This is ages 7 to 14. It's at number 4867 Hogwarts. This one is based on the last film, The Deathly Hallows Part 2. This one has seven minifigures, 466 pieces, retailed for $60 over here, and came out around June the 1st. That was 2011. And I am re-uploading this video because the last one I did were, wasn't very good. Graphics were all bad and I didn't review anything. So I'll be deleting that one and uploading this one. And hopefully this one's a good one. Um, here's the side of your box. And here's the back of your box. And just shows you around and everything. And this is a little um, connect set. Well, that this set and the 4842 set. You can connect it up with the technique pieces that's in it, um, and it's pretty good. I'll show you that review later on, but not now. Here are your spare pieces. You get some studs, some edge pieces, and a little torch or flag. And here is your instruction manual. And here are your pieces page. And then you get the number. This set is, well, has 700, wait has 76 pages and 34 steps. Okay, let's get into the set. Awesome. Okay, let's start off with Harry. This is Harry Potter and he has his Gryffindor torso. Very nice. Brown wand and here's the back of him. Has some printing there, and there is his double sided head. Put the hairpiece back on. This is Neville Longbottom, and he's got his sweater on. Nice, very nice um, minifigure. And he is redesigned, and there is his back as well, double sided he head. And he has been re redesigned. It, this is his second version. And you also get a brown broomstick to ride on, fly on. This is Remus Lupin, and I believe this is the third version or redesign you get. And um, this is brand new. He's got a nice brown hairpiece and very nice suit, brown wand. There's the back of him. And this is Professor Sprout, and this is the only scent you can get her in. Very nice, very nice hat. There's the back printing on her, and the very nice printing here. And that's her face. Yep. And this one is already, where did his one go? Oh, I just had one. Um, this one is Gregory Goyle, and he's a very awesome minifigure. And I, as I said, he does have a black one, but it went somewhere. Nice silver and torso there. There's the back of this one. And, yeah. So that is Gregory Goyle. Yeah. Alright, here we have is our Dementor. 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 And he's got this little clear plate, which is pretty good. And you can make him stand up on it. Like, in the old sets, you've got the grey Dementors. And it would be just like this little stand, and it would always fall over. But now you can use these plates, which will hold them up now. So that's pretty good. Alright, let me just show you this one. He's got a nice hood. And there's his face, under the cloak, skeleton-like. And a little junction there. And just stick that on there, and hood. And that's him. Last but not least, we have Lucius Malfoy in his Death Eater disguise. He has a black wand also. And I think we better focus here so we can get all this great detail. There's the front. And there's his mask. And he does have no back printing, but he's got a double side head. And here's Lucius Malfoy. And you also get his hairpiece in this set. Very nice indeed. So that's Lucius Malfoy, and just turn him around and put his mask on, then you've got a Death Eater. 
Okay, and here is that little wand that fell out of Gregory Gore's hand. Okay, this is the set. Get two towers and a bridge, so that's very nice. I will show you the bridge now, but I'll detach the tower. And what you have to do is, and also it, the towers do rotate, and they detach there, there and there, and I'll detach the other tower as well. And yep, that's that. That just fell off. And I'll show you the bridge first. And here are upstairs. And here are um, not very stuck down plates. There's three of them that just sit on there. Very nice. Um, top of the bridge. And here's the top. There's a side, there's inside. Um, we might get a little light in there so you guys can see. And, yep. And here's your little function here. I'll show you that in a minute. And this is, these can swirl around. And this one is what makes it um, pop out, which I'll show you now. And. When you turn this, all of it jumps out. Just put a minifigure on there, for example, and just stick him down and turn this any way you want, and he will pop out like that. And these flames will come out as well. Very nice. So just turn that. Alright then. Next, we have. Um, we'll do the astronomy, astronomy tower, astronomy tower, and that's this one. Very nice um, look of it. And here is your dungeon, first floor, second floor, third floor, kind of like that. And very nice the dungeon of the detailing. And you can also move these pieces like that. And you can push them back. That's where you can connect the set. And that's the top. And here's the bottom. It is quite dark in the dungeon. And don't worry, there is nothing inside there. Um, that's the look inside. And here, the next floor up, you get the Gryffindor Dobber Trees. Um, and you get two, uh, a bunker bit, and that's what it looks like. There's the other one, nice little patterns that's got on there. Next floor up, we get the ast astronomy classroom and the out view, and you like this balcony piece. Um, you get a little globe here, very nice. It is two pieces, and you can just open it up and you can open it up and you get the nice blue minifigure head and the bandana and you can just click it together like that and yeah just stick sticks back on and up top we have the d divination um, classroom and you get two cups there and a crystal ball and you get a little nice diamond there inside and it looks very nice get that blue effect next we've got the uh, other tower which is very nice and here's the bottom again and I'll turn it around to show you and in the bottom same thing but inside here you get a little snake and this could be Nagini or just a random little snake um, 
um, up here, this is the remove requirement. You get these nice little stickers there of a wizard and a witch. And inside there is just some spare space. And you can fit a minifigure in there if you want. Like, I'll put this one in. And you can just stand them in there. Up here is Professor Lupin's office, or the Defense Against Dark Arts office. And you get a little thrilling chair, little um, skeleton head, and chalkboard. And this is a sticker piece. And you can move it back and forward. And over here you get a little potion or chemical. And a little thing. And up here at the top you get the mirror of Eris. I hope I said that right. And, and that is a sticker there. And it is very nice. I'll just take the top off to show you. And you can lean it backwards and forwards. And let me just put this little piece back on. And yeah, it's very nice. And this actually, this bit is a trap door, so that's very nice as well. And yeah, that's a sticker. And just put the top back on. Okay guys, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little video and goodbye.